Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video, we are going to discuss about joining multiple tables. So suppose you have three tables here, student data, student course data and student marks data. In your student data table, you have details about a student and then in your student course data, you have details about the course on which the student has enrolled. While this student marks data has a student's marks for their corresponding subjects or their corresponding course. Now if you have to join all of these three tables then how you can join it. So let's go to our SQL workbench and first run all of these three select star from queries to see how exactly the data is in, the, in our SQL table. So the first query select a star from student data. So if I run this query I'm getting 10 records here where all of these records are for a student. Now if I run this course data, I have 60 records here and each of these students have been enrolled in five different courses. So there are duplicacy in roll number but these records are unique at a roll number and course name level. Now if I run this student marks data, I can see again I have 60 rows returned and there are three columns, roll number, course name and marks. So this table contains marks for each and every courses for every student. So what we have to do is that we have to get this name and their class as well as their roll number. From student course data, we have to get the courses in which they have enrolled and from student marks data, we have to get how many marks they have obtained in each and every course. So to do that, what we have to do is that simply we have to consider our student data as the first table or the left extreme table. So we'll simply put select and for an instance, keep a star here, select a star from this student data. Okay. And we'll give an alias to this table as SD. And now I'll remove this star and I'll put SD dot roll number comma sd dot class comma sd dot name now if i run this query i should get 10 records from this student data table that has roll number class and name now what i will do is that i'll simply left join this entire table student data with our student course data table. So I'll put left join and I'll put this student course data and I'll give an alias to this table as SCD and then I have to keep the joining keys on SD dot roll number equal to SCD dot roll number. Now from this student course data I need the course name so I'll put scd dot course underscore name and now if I'll run this query I should get 60 records reason being each and every student has been involved in five different courses and all of those courses are present in this table and in this table each student has five record here with their course name so now if i run this query and we are getting 50 rows because our student data is the left table and in when we have used left join then this left join will always return those record which is present in student data only and in our student course data you can see here is that we have roll number 11 and 12 which is not present in our student data thus this roll number 11 12 data has been excluded from our result set so we have received 50 rows now what we need to do here is that once we have our course name we need to get the total marks that has been obtained in each and every courses by these students right now again we will use this left join only and with this left join this second left join we will use this student marks table okay 
and let's run this student marks table here and see what all columns we have we have roll number course name and marks so what we will do is that we will use multiple columns to join this particular table so first of all we have to give an alias to this table so we'll put the alias as smd okay and then the first common key or the first joining key that we will be giving is this st dot roll number is equal to smd dot roll number okay and we will be using this bracket key because whenever you are using more than one common keys to join two tables then you have to use brackets and within brackets you have to give the joining keys so within bracket we will put st dot roll number equal to smd dot roll number and then we will put a condition saying that and scd this table student course data scd dot course name is equal to smd dot course name Now let's run this query and we got an error because we missed this on key so we'll put on and then let's run this query okay now we have our result set and we have 50 rows returned and for each of these students we are getting their marks right so you must be thinking that why we have used this and scd dot course name is equal to smd dot course name why we cannot use only roll number and join this student marks data with this student data so there is a reason behind it before i tell you the reason let's remove this and part okay as well as this bracket and let's run this query right now you can see that for amit let's take first row only amit course one has 84 marks right and we do not have any other record for Amit course 1 in this entire table Okay, so what we'll do is that we have removed and condition in this in this joining key For this course and now let's run this query If I run this query you have 250 record return and the reason being is that in your student Data you have 10 record in your student course data you have 60 records and in student marks data you have 60 records and it is getting cross multiplied for each and every record so let me show you in excel that what exactly happens here let's take an example of amit here and we are taking all of these columns okay so what happens that is that we have taken our student data as a left table so when roll number is 1 and Amit is there and its age is 11 and when we are joining it with this table the student course data so there are 5 different records for Amit okay and when you join it what happens is that on roll number 1 you have 5 different records you have 5 different records for Amit saying that Amit has been enrolled in course 1 also Amit is enrolled in course 2 as well as he is enrolled in course 3, course 4 and course 5 so that's why we have 5 different record for Amit when we join this student data with this student course data now let's take this table also in a, into our consideration so here we have roll number 1 course 1 and 84 now when you join this part of this query left join student marks on sm as smd on roll number then basically what happens is that it take a single row this one and it matches it with this entire row so that's why what happened here is that 
it took a single row for this amit where age is 1 course is 1 okay and marks is 84 so let's remove this thing and let's put marks 84 here because for course 1 amit has marks 84 here okay and when it, when you have multiple rows so it basically cross multiplied it for each and every rows so you can see here roll number is 1 roll number is 1 and again in this table you have roll number 1 with marks 84 so this 84 is getting duplicated for all of these records similarly for amit what will happen here is that for course 2 we will have similarly the second marks which is 71 will be repeating here so that's why for a single person who is Amir we will be getting around 25 rows here so let's go and check our output okay so for Amit, we have course 184, Amit course 171, course 190, course 174, course, course 187. So if you go to your Excel sheet, you will see that Amit has obtained all of these marks in different courses. But when you are only using roll number to match it, then you are getting 5 different rows for a single course one so what happens is that when you have a duplicacy of data in your tables then you have to find out by joining which keys you will get the distinct record that's why in our previous version of query we had used brackets and within these brackets we have used course id or course name here to get our specific marks for specific courses for each and every student so this is how basically you use multiple columns in a join clause if you want to learn more about sql you can click on the right hand side of this video or if you are interested in excel you can click on the left hand side of this video happy learning and see you in the next video